Spiffy uniform, Peso. Our special visitor will be impressed. Thank you, Captain. Tweak, progress report. The guppy is almost here, Cap. It should be arriving in one minute. Octonauts, let's give our guest of honor a ship shaped welcome. Form a line. Permission to open the octa hatch, Cap. Permission granted. Here we are, the Octopod. Pinto! Peso! Captain Barnacles and my fellow Octonauts, this is my little brother Pinto. Welcome aboard, Pinto. Oh, thanks. This is Professor Inkling, <laughs> Tunip and Tweak. Hi. Was your trip okay? It was the best ride ever. Quasi taught me how to talk like a pirate. Hi, matey! Shiver me flippers! <laughs> this is for you, me hearty. Welcome aboard the Octopod. <sighs> Do I look like a real pirate? Yow! Yow! I'm ready for action! <clears throat> and this is Dashy and Shellington. Hello. It was great to meet you, Pinto. We'll see you when we get back. Are they taking the gut E on a real mission right now? Yes, they're going out to study baby sea snails. Baby sea snails can be hard to find because they're so tiny. That's why I have my magnifying glass. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Cap. <gasps> I want to go on a mission too. Let me show you around the octopod first. Quasi told me that the life of an octonaut is really exciting. Oh, it is. As a medic, I... Do you search for sea monsters like Quasi? Uh, well, here, let me show you what I do. I... And Quasi says that an octonaut has to be prepared for anything to happen. That's true. You want to try doing something that I do? I'm ready for anything. All right, then. Here's a real challenge. Bandaging. We'll practice a combination bandage. A flipper sling and a rib wrap. Now you try it. I want to learn how to be an octonaut, not a medic. But I'm an octonaut and a medic. I mean a real octonaut, like Quasi. Ready for action. Oh, I have to be ready for action too, you know, in case someone gets hurt. Quasi! Wait! Is the ship under attack? No, but it is time for lunch. Here you go, matey. <laughs> Last one there for your rotten fish egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Captain, what's going on? We've just received a call for help from the Guppy. Captain Barnacles here. Go ahead, Dashy. Captain, we seem to be stuck. Can you locate us? Uh oh, Cap. We've lost radio contact. Dashy and Shellington are stuck, and we've got to get them unstuck. Hmm. I wonder what they're stuck in. We'll find out when we get to them, and we need to get to them fast. Can I come too? Oh, please, 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 please! No, it might not be safe. Your big brother's right, Pinto. You better stay here with the Vegemals. <sighs> I'll tell you all about it when we get back.
ready for action, Captain. And if anybody gets hurt, you can count on me. The Gupsy's tow line could be handy for pulling Dashie and Shellington out of trouble, Cap. Thank you, Tweak. Open the octo hatch. Do you see anything yet, Quasi? Yow! That's got to be them! Captain, we may be dealing with a Dabalock. What's a... a Dabalock? It looks like a plant, but once you get close, it reaches out with its giant green arms and grabs your ship. And when does it let go? Never. Ever. Ever. Where's the double lock? Where is it? Where'd it go? Pinto, how did you sneak aboard? Aha! A stowaway! Wait, dead ahead. There they are. Whoa! Is that the double lock? Octonauts, here's the plan. Quasi, you go around the back and I'll... Quasi! You can't hold me here, you scurvy beast! So much for the plan. Activate helmets. Oh, oh, can I go too? No. Uh, Quasi, we may not be dealing with a Dabalock after all. Uh, of course not. I know Dabaloks, Captain. This is no Dabalock. Hmm, it looks like a plant to me. It is a plant. A type of seaweed called kelp. We're at the edge of a kelp forest. Dashie and Shellington are trapped in the kelp. We've got to get them out. We'll have to use the tow line to pull them out. Peso, check on Shellington. Quasi, let's get the tow line. Huh? <gasps> this kelp is strong. We'll have to pull really hard. No. Wait, the guppy isn't the only thing stuck in there. Look. We have to be careful. If we pull too hard, it could hurt those baby snails. You're right, but we have to free the gup right now. Hmm. It's, it's like a bandage. They're just wrapped up in a giant bandage. Hmm. Do you think you could unwrap it? Yes, sir. That's a lot of unwrapping to do, Captain. And we do have a spare helmet. Pinto? Aye, aye, Captain. Remember, this is a real mission. I'll follow your orders just like a real Optonaut. Optonauts, take your positions. If you don't mind. Captain, peel from the top. Aye, aye, Peso. Quasi, take it under. Aye, aye, Peso. Pinto, open that leaf. Aye, aye, Peso. Thank you for saving the baby snails. And us. Oh. <laughs> Your brother kept everybody safe today. Thanks to you, Peso. Our mission was a success. Oh. <laughs> Can I try on your hat? Actually, I made this for you. If you want it. I <sighs> know I'm a pirate and a medic. You can swashbuckle. And swash bandage. Just like a real octonaut. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the Octonauts and the Orcas. Oh, Captain, could you 
practice somewhere. Uh... Yeah. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to. Yeah. Fascinating. That's a type of whale called an orca. orca. Look, there's another. And another. And another. Remarkable. We've attracted an entire pod. What's a pod, Professor? It's a group of orcas, Peso. The pod helps each other through thick and thin, rather like the octonauts. We've got to bump him back. Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. <coughs> oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Want to race? Ah! Oh. OK! <laughs> hey, you didn't say go! Heading straight for the beach. Oh my, that's not a good place for an orca. Maybe I can stop him before he gets there. Can have a head start next time, but I'll still win. <laughs> uh, 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 just let me get turned around here. Uh, dear, give me a push, will you? I. Uh... Oh! Are you all right? Hi, Captain. But I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me, or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the vegimals. 
The orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, we'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my pod calling to me. Oh no! All of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Orcas, stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. <laughs> The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're going to need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> You don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. Mm. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! It's getting hotter and hotter. Octonauts, grab the ropes. Hmm. Ready to test, Cap. Octonauts, take your positions. On my signal. One, two, three, pull! Ow! Stop, stop! Oh, that really hurts. Captain, I don't think it's enough to pull him. Now, if we could get the ropes under him, we could lift him up. Hmm. We need a way to tunnel under the sand with the ropes. I think I know who can help us. Attention, crabs! You crabs have a special ability to tunnel under the sand. Will you use it now to help the orca? No, he got himself into this. He can't get himself out. Ah! Let me help you. There you go. Well, that was uh, really quite helpful. Thank you. So, are you with us? Okay, sideways, march! Octonauts, let's do this! One, two, three! Oh! Again! One, two, three, four! <laughs> One, two, three, four! Yeah! It's working! Keep pulling! Captain, our pod is grateful to you and your pod. You can always count on the Octonauts to help. Remember to call on us if we can ever do anything for the Octonauts. Shall we practice our special signal? <laughs> Goodbye, Orca friends. Goodbye, Captain. Until we meet again. The Octonauts and the Midnight Zone. Screwdriver! Carrot! Thanks, Vegemite! 
Veggie Mouse. Is the guppe ready to go, Tweak? It sure is, Cap. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, today our mission is to travel to the bottom of the sea and add a new page to Shellington's book. This is an unfinished guide to the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? It sounds dark and scary. It is, me hearty. The Midnight Zone is a place so deep that the sun never shines there. In this book, I describe many amazing creatures from the Midnight Zone. A limpet, a tube worm, a vent fish. At the end, however, there are these empty pages. It's our job to fill these empty pages with a creature no one's ever seen before. And since it's so dark down there, I added these extra lights to the Guff A to help you see. When the lights on the Guff flash, you're running out of power and you need to come back up right away. Shellington, Peso and Quasi, put on your deep sea suits. Ready? Ready, Ready Captain. Captain. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Captain. It's not dark yet. That's because we're still up in the sunlight zone. Are we there yet? It's rather dark. No, we're now entering the twilight zone. And the midnight zone is even deeper and darker. Even deeper and darker? Octonauts, we have entered the Midnight Zone. It's really dark down here. Let's turn on the special deep sea lights. It's awfully quiet down here. Captain, what's that sound? That's just our propeller, Peso. It always makes that sound. What about that? There's something very hot up ahead. Shiver me whiskers! Is that... smoke? <gasps> Whoa! <sighs> Jumping jellyfish! We found some hydrothermal vents. What's a hydrothermal vent? It's like an underwater volcano. That's very hot water pouring out of the top. Helmets, everybody. This is the perfect place to find a creature that's never been seen before. Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Ready. Oh, Captain! Have you found something, Shellington? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I found a limpet, but that's nothing new. And these are tube worms. They only live in the midnight zone. They're fascinating, but they're not new. Huh? Over here! Yow! It looks big. It's... it's... It's only rocks. Sorry, Shellington. Huh? That's a vent fish. It's not a new creature either, I'm afraid. Let's keep looking, Octonauts. Shellington, what are these holes? Interesting. I found a rock before with holes exactly like this. But I've never discovered what made the holes. Let's dig up a rock sample. I'll get the rock cutter. Allow me. 
Uh, thanks. I'll take it from here. Oh no, I broke the rock sample. Oh! No problem. I can get a good look inside it now. Maybe something's living in here. Hmm, I don't see anything. Where's the other piece? Got it. Octonauts, the power on the cup A is getting low. We should go. But I still haven't found a new creature. We'll have to come back another time, Shellington. Everyone to the gup. <sighs> so, did you find a creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. Ah. Mm. Wow. So, <laughs> I think there's something alive in here. Oh! <gasps> oh! Wait! 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 <gasps> Where am I? You're on the octopod. <gasps> My house. It's broken. No worries, little guy. We can put your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. You live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh, I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the midnight zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, we'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Wrong. Hold on. Yeah. That ought to do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. Hmm. You know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashie can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Perfect. Fantastic. I'll use some sticky limpet glue to hold it together. Good as new. I need a picture. Say seaweed. Seaweed. Now we'll take you back home, where it's nice and dark. I can't wait. Octonauts, come down and visit any time. Peso, we have a new friend in the Midnight Zone. It may be dark down here, but it's not scary anymore, Captain. And you have your own page in my book now. Sweet. The Octonauts and the Monster Map. Oh, 
I have our next mission. The Octomap shows that we're here, in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, yes? Well, I have my own map of these waters. Excellent, Quasi. A good map helps you to get to places you've never been. Yes, and a secret map helps you get to places you didn't know were there. Hmm. Where did you find it? I dug it up on Catspaw Island back in me pirate days. Yaha! Hmm. This map is very old. Aye, and this map has a tale to tell, Professor. Listen, me hearties. A proud ship once sailed across these waters. The ship carried a precious golden jar. Then there came a terrible storm, and the ship sank to the bottom of the sea. There it lay until a scary sea monster made the wreck his home. He guards the golden jar to this very day. If you go looking for it, mateys, you must beware of the eight-headed sea monster, for he'll challenge anyone who comes too close. Yow! <coughs> There's no shipwreck or, um, sea monster on the Octomap. Ha-ha! <laughs> Pirates don't put their secrets on anybody else's maps. In fact, there are many things under the sea that aren't on anyone's map yet. And the Octonauts are out to find them. Who's with me? Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find out if there's any truth to Quasi's old map. I'd like to photograph that golden jar. I wonder if it's still there. If we can find the shipwreck, Dashie, then we can look for the golden jar. And the sea monster! Dashie, Peso, you'll come along with Quasi and me. Okie dokie, Cap. Oh. We're ready to test the grabber. Activating Grabber. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, got it. This will help pick things up from the shipwreck. Thanks, Tweak. And it's a perfect monster grabber. Monster grabber? Don't worry, Peso. Right, let's go. Tweak, open the Octa Hatch. Got it, Cap. The map says there should be a big rock archway up ahead. Check. Go under it and to the left. Coming up on some rocks, Quasi. Which way now? Um, go around the biggest rock and to the right. No, no, the left. We should be getting close now. Closer. Closer. Up ahead, I think I see the shipwreck. It's just some rocks. Quasi, we found your shipwreck. Oh, protect us from the sea monster, Captain. Dashi, Peso, we'll look for that golden jar. Yow! <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! If I were a sea monster, where would I hide? He's got eight heads, so he must be pretty clever. That 
looks like a good hiding place. Octonauts, over here! <gasps> Captain, what is it? Look! The golden jar that was on your map, Quasi. This will make a beautiful photo. Aye, matey, but don't get too close. Captain, the sea monster could be hiding behind that golden jar. Oh, no. Then I'll pull it out very carefully. Over a bit, down a little. Gotcha. Ah, no monster there. Stand back. I'll do a monster check. Yeah, a sea monster couldn't fit in there. Where is that sea monster? This map is no help, no help at all. Peso, we may have to face the worst. The worst? There's no sea monster here. Oh, phew. <sighs> Arr, this is supposed to be a sea monster map. Oh, wow. What's the point of having a sea monster map if there's no real sea monster to go with it? Quasi, behind you. Yeah! Ah! Found you, sea monster. You win. That was a fun game of hide and seek. Game? Wait. You're supposed to have eight heads. I think you found an octopus, Quasi. Yes, I'm an octopus, all right. Well, you sure acted like a sea monster. You disappeared like magic when I chased you. I'll show you my tricks. You'll want to take my picture before and after. Hey, where'd you go? I can change my colors. That makes it easier to hide. What's this? <laughs> and I can squeeze myself into oh so small spaces. How'd you do that? It's easy when you don't have any bones. You really are the king of hide and seek. <laughs> Even if you're not a proper sea monster. Well, if you hadn't gone looking for a sea monster, you wouldn't have found me. How did you find me? Look, there you are. Oh, time for a new map. <laughs> you're right there, matey. There. What do you think? Perfect. Thanks. That's more like it. Hi. This is a real map of the place. Now it's my turn to hide. I'll come to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming. Ready or not? <laughs> 